What up, though? And welcome back to Old School Hip Hop Head Real Reacts. I also have another YouTube channel called Reels Reactions, and on that YouTube channel, it's 99% old school golden era hip hop. So if you're ever in the mood to watch some old school hip hop reactions, all you have to do is go to the link that I'm going to put in the description of this video. All right, man. So today's reaction is a subscriber request. Shout out to Colleen for this request. So uh, this is Dan Plus Shea. Is that how you say it? Dan Plus Shea or Dan and Shea? All right. So it's Dan and Shea and Justin Bieber. Obviously, I have no clue who Dan and Shea is. But just looking at this YouTube channel, they got 1.7 million uh, subscribers. And this fucking video has done 289 million views. So it looks like everybody else in the world knows, knows who Dan and Shay are. Uh, I just don't. <laughs> and yep, you're right. You might have guessed it. I don't listen to country. You know what I mean? Um, I assume this is country. This was on like the country playlist or something like that. So anyway, I don't listen to Justin Bieber either. But I know who the hell he is. Justin Bieber's like an American icon. <laughs> and then he like he went straight. Like, what's up with Justin Bieber? He like a model citizen now or something. You know, what I mean, I just don't understand it. But anyway, man, looks like this one is called Ten Thousand Hours. Obviously, I don't know what the hell it is. I don't know who these people are. I don't know what this is gonna sound like. When did mainstream artists start doing not mainstream, but um like pop? and hip-hop and R&B. Like, when did this shit start happening when they're collaborating with country artists? Like, when when uh, when Beyonce just did her country album, I couldn't believe it. I didn't believe it for like a month. I was like, that's some bullshit. Like, it's a gimmick. Like, I thought it was fake. You know what I mean? Next thing you know, Beyonce got a goddamn country album. So when did this start? Has this been going on a long time and I just didn't know because I don't listen to country? I don't know. Anyway, man, let's get to this reaction. Dance when you're drunk with your friends at a party. What's your favorite song? Does it make you smile? Do you think of me when you close your eyes? Tell me what are you dreaming? Everything I want to know at all. Mm. I'd spend ten. Why is Justin Bieber wearing a shirt that says Drew? It's Justin Bieber. My shit was a Justin Bieber. But anyway, man, so just going off of that first verse, this doesn't sound like a goddamn country song to me. What's going on? Is this pop music? Like, what's happening here? This, the, If I was a country music um, fan, like I am a hip-hop fan, and somebody tried to sell me on this being country, I'd be upset about that. Like, that didn't sound country to me at all. That sounded like a pop song. Um, but anyway, man, my bad. I just had to say that. Let me back it up. Is this Justin Bieber's wife? Isn't he married to some famous lady who's like a supermodel, but like her parents are famous or something like that? I don't know. <laughs> Oh, 
Okay, okay. Forgive me. I'm confused. Is Dan and Shay a husband and wife couple? Or is one of these dudes singing, like this dude singing, is he Dan and this guy is Shay or vice versa? Like, who's Dan and Shay? I'm so confused. I thought it was a couple. I thought this was Dan and Shay right here. The first couple. Are these their real spouses? Is this the girl who Justin Bieber married? I'm out the loop. My bad. <laughs> This is not a country song. Wait a second, Dan and Shay. It's the two dudes. Oh man, all right, all right. Looks like mystery solved, you know what I mean? <laughs> all right, man, yo, there it is. Shout out to Colleen for this request. Dan and Shay and Justin Bieber. So, or, or should I say, Dan and Shay featuring Justin Bieber, 10,000 hours. All in all, that was a good, happy-go-lucky ass song. And I literally felt like I was like at a mall, a dentist, or like a, a convention of some sort, a trade show. Like this is a extra G-rated song. Hopefully, I'll never hear this song again because this is not my type of music. But I can say, it's a pretty good fucking song, you know what I mean? It's like one of those pick-me-up, like happy-go-lucky, it's a nice sunny summer day type of songs that you hear out in the general public because it's extra safe. There it is, man. On to the next one, I'm out.